Right, so next month, May the 4th, is my 5th year anniversary of stopping drinking. I've got the tattoo, obviously, on my leg. I will show you. As you can see, 4th of May, 2020. This was the day my life changed. I didn't kin it at the time. I had zero social media. I had nothing. I had nothing gone for me. I had a job, right? I was... I kept my job somehow. I had a job, but I had fuck all gone for me, apart from being a handsome guy, right? <laughs> anyway. Aye, so... I was mentally fucked, depressed as fuck, drinking gallons of drink. And I mean gallons. I was drinking myself... I was trying to drink myself into death, basically, right? And on that morning, the fourth... Life changed. The penny dropped. Finally, stop drinking. Stop it. And I did. And look where I've managed to get to. Without stopping the drinking, this social media would I wouldn't have zero accounts. They'd all get shut down within a day. I was a fucking nightmare texting people all the time when I was pissed writing this and that. Can you imagine the socials? Wouldn't they hurt I was due to get blade in, what, three months as well? Sorry, no, I was due to get blade in a month. And I was still drinking. Okay? And my mum had a word with me. She's like, you're not going to be able to hear Doug in the way you are. No, nah, eh, because I was still... I was trying to stop. I was at the AA. Or FAS. It's a version of the AA. It's not exactly the AA. And counselling didn't help me. You've got to stop for yourself. But if you've got an issue like I had, deal with it. Deal with it sooner rather than later. That's one of my massive regrets. I wish I'd dealt with this decades ago. Instead of letting it fucking linger on in my fucking forties and be a nightmare. I was a nightmare. I still am a nightmare, but ah, yes, I was a nightmare. A nightmare to be with. A nightmare to spend time with. Sometimes, mum and dad gone off for nut. The things I was getting up to, in trouble with the police all the time. You name it. I wish I'd knocked this on the head decades ago and had the focus that I've got now. In the, the drive that I have now. Because you want to get somewhere in your life and make your life the best you can. If you're one of the people that are able to hear a drink and be sound, that's perfectly fine. Fucking bash on with it, man. But I wasn't it. I was a binge drinker and there was no fucking off button there. Eh? So I'm walking proof, as I say. Shit can happen for you. Get things can. Doors can open once you sort yourself out and then have a different outlook on life. <laughs>